why only one vein is anastomosed in a free latissimus dorsi flap so this question is basically a trick why uh, i just wanted to discuss some of the important points of the anatomy of the latissimus dorsi muscle so we know that commonly in lower extremity the free flap failure is because of venous problems the anterolateral thigh flap the radial artery forearm flap all these flaps permit us a second venous anastomosis before the alt or before the alt became popular latissimus dorsi was uh, the probably the most popular free flap a couple of years back because of its large surface area long pedicle and the ease of harvest so not many of the young surgeons are aware of the free latissimus dorsi flap they are not doing it regularly in 96% of the cases the thoracodorsal pedicle has got only artery and only one vein so we don't have an option of doing the second vein that is why almost always a single vein is anastomosed while doing a latissimus dorsi free flap alternatively what we can do is we can flip over the branch of the serratus the serratus anterior vein can be a second venous outflow when we are doing a free ld flap that can possibly minimize the chances of venous compromise of the ld muscle flap again the vein of the ld is significantly larger it has dimensions of around 3 to 3.5 mm but uh, always a second venous outflow is better especially when we are using it to cover a lower limb defect